I am Sue McCloskey, one of the founders of Fair Oaks Farms, and we are here today in Washington, D.C., representing uh, Fair Oaks at the USA Science and Engineering Festival. It's the biggest science fair in the country, and it's really cool. Uh, we had a good friend of ours call us up and invite us here to participate in his pavilion, and that was our friend Mike Rowe. Uh, we're going to see a little bit of a video with uh, Mike introducing me on stage. Um, but basically, we've been here telling the story of Powered by Poo and how we take all of the manure from our dairy farms and then from our pig farm as well and create not only electricity, but create our own biofuel and while we run 42 tractor trailers that haul our milk to markets in Kentucky, Indiana, and Tennessee. We've had such a great reception. People are really fascinated by the story. And we'd love for you to come out to Fair Oaks if you haven't been already, and to learn more about our Powered by Poo story. See ya. Yes. If you had to choose any of the jobs you've shown on Dirty Jobs and to be your career, which would you choose? If I had to choose any of the jobs on Dirty Jobs to be my career, actually, I have a true answer to that, but I want to know, is Sue standing by? That, that's, that's like the perfect question because I think the most fun I ever had on Dirty Jobs was working with the woman I want to introduce you to right now. In fact, Sue, come here. It's Sue McCluskey, everybody, from Fair Oaks Farm. We came to your place in, when was it? In 2000, and I know it was, I remember it was Valentine's Day, 2007? I think it was 2007. Our crew... And again in 2008, 2009. And again, yeah. We we love Sue because uh, Sue and her husband Mike own a dairy in uh, northwest Indiana. And we went there to shoot, and they showed us every single thing you would ever want to see and some things you probably don't. But the cool part about these guys is they wouldn't let us check in on a hotel. They let us stay in their house, they fed us, and they spoiled us. And they became friends of the show in the same way a lot of other people did. So just reinforced my belief that farmers are the best people walking around on the planet. And uh, I asked her to come here and be in our little pavilion today because I think what she has to say is fun and important. Kids, I think you'll dig it. Grown-ups, I think you'll like it too. Anybody who's addicted to chewing and swallowing needs to listen very careful to Sue McClussy. I gotta run. Thanks for hanging out. Avita Zane. We're going to talk a little bit about Fair Oaks Farms and the science of farming. Um, the times are changing, my goodness. I mean, if you come to a farm today, you're going to see some pretty cool things. Science, technology, engineering, and math are really helping the farmer. In this picture right here, we see a farmer in his cab with his little daughter there. I don't know if you can see that. And he's relying on GPS to help him go through his fields. And there's technology in there that is telling him, first of all, where he's going to plant. It's going to show him exactly as he's moving up and down the fields. He can also determine the amount of fertilizer he might may need or not need to apply because they've actually mapped that field and taken samples to determine where it's in, it's, it's deficient in certain in certain chemicals like nitrogen or or phosphorus so that he can make sure that his plants are going to grow as efficiently as possible. Um, you talk about technology, uh, they're actually, I mean, you guys have probably seen there's a few drones flying around here. Um, drone technology is something that we're seeing in agriculture now because you'll have, if you've got a field of 400 or 1400 acres of 
of alfalfa or of corn or soybeans, you might not be able to see it all in one pass. And you actually see drones that fly over the fields and give kind of a live stream feed of what those fields look like in the middle where a farmer might not be able to see. <laughs> um, we've also got access to, we use the internet just like you guys. I mean, you're, we can be out in the middle uh, planting wheat and access the markets and determine whether, you know, okay, maybe I don't want to plant 2,000 acres of wheat, maybe I'm going to plant 10,000 acres of wheat. Um, then for all the work that we do to make sure that our food is safe and nutritious and affordable, the other end of it is that we've got great technology now uh, that makes our all of that hard work that we put into that uh, as it travels safely to the consumer. So we've got modern packaging such as aseptic packaging, which we can actually put milk in an aseptic package, put it on a shelf for nine months, take it down and drink it and it tastes just as fresh as the day it went into that. So there's really cool stuff happening on the food processing side as well. Um, we've got much better tools to work with, obviously like in, in all sectors of industry. And we've become a lot more efficient with animal care. This is really interesting because we have less cows in the United States today than in the 1940s, but we produce about two times as much milk. And that's because we know how to take care of our cows better, we know how to feed them better. Um, it's the same, the same is true with, with all different types of animal agriculture. We're really doing a lot more with our animals, and so we don't need as much. We don't need as much of that carbon footprint. So that's really important. It's a big part of what sustainable farming is about. Um